Do you ever believe in the hand of God <laughs> in making your videos? <laughs> So I just made my video of what I thought was going to be the day, and I just thought, you know what, it's always kind of fun to fish around uh, Russian television, see what's on. I just kind of looking around, I said, well, maybe I'll put up the latest numbers today or do something. And I, uh, because my last video was about why Russia invaded Ukraine. And if you recall, uh, Putin was talking about uh, how the uh, 2014 um, overthrow of the government, of course, in the West here, all we knew, and I'm even me, I didn't know. I wasn't following all this crap back then. I thought it was just a peaceful protest. That's all we ever saw, right? Let's look at the let's look at the uh, um, real story. This is a it could be propaganda, but this is this is what Russia put out to show what really took place. We have been actively engaged in what's been happening in the Ukraine. <laughs> These uh, brave Ukrainians took to the streets in order to stand peacefully against tyranny and to demand democracy. Looks peaceful to me. Uh, not only has our embassy and our folks who are over there, uh, folks uh, like Vice President Biden uh, have spoken directly uh, to President y uh, Yanukovych about our belief. Uh, there has to be a way to restructure the Ukrainian government in a way that allows the voices of the opposition uh, and those folks on the streets to be heard uh, in preparation for some sort of democratic process. A government with greater legitimacy and unity. Uh, and that's going to be challenging, but we're trying to help on the negotiations on that. What do you think? Uh, I think we're in play. How do they come up with this shit? So that would be great, I think, to help glue this thing and have the UN help glue it. And, you know, fuck the EU. Believe it or not, great Russian propaganda, right? There's a difference between private discussions that happen in the interagency process, in the building, and what we convey publicly as a U.S. government. And we have a responsibility to convey what our position is. Of course, you're discussing a range of options on a range of issues. The truce didn't last long. We left the hotel and ventured up towards the new front line. From one of the upper windows of the hotel, a shot rang out. Up there, yeah. Right. The peaceful transition of Ukraine, eh? One, two, three, four, fifth row from the left. Second from the top, one of those open. I saw the shooter. He was wearing one of the protesters' green helmets. They were shooting directly to their heart, to their brain, and to their neck. All right, she's saying the use of deadly force by qualified snipers, and she's judging that on the way that uh, uh, the round struck their victims, killing them instantly. Well, would you reportedly, advise the government now? Reportedly, reportedly 20 policemen uh, were killed uh, uh, today by snipers, and I saw TV footage, snipers uh, uh, shooting from 
uh, a hotel they took over in downtown Kiev. If you're saying privately behind the scenes that you're cooking up a deal, and then you're saying publicly that this is up for Ukrainians to decide, those are two totally different things. I understand that diplomatic discussions are sensitive and you don't want everything to come out, but those are two totally different, totally different positions. Alice, what do you think happens behind closed doors when people are discussing issues internally through this the interagency? This is not discussing issues. This is talking about a deal that the U.S. was cooking up. And second, what was quite disturbing, the same Olga told that, well, all the evidence shows uh, that people who were killed by snipers from both sides, among policemen and, and people from the streets, that they were the same snipers killing people from both sides. Well, that, yeah. So that, um, and she also showed me some photos, uh, she said that as medical doctor, she can, you know, say that it is the same, same handwriting, the uh, same type of bullets, and it's really disturbing that now the new, uh, new position, that they don't want to investigate what exactly happened, so that there is now stronger and stronger understanding that behind snipers, they were, it was not Yanukovych, but it was somebody from the new coalition. Mostly peaceful protest, right? <laughs> I always picture that, uh, what was it, uh, CNN, when the guy was standing in Portland and the, 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 everything was burning behind him, and I was just like, oh, my God, this is, a, this is a mostly peaceful protest. I have to. But, I mean, isn't it ironic that I just made my uh, uh, Why Russia Invaded Ukraine video, and then I come up with this? I was just like, oh, man, I tell you, it's like destiny. <laughs> you know, so, so anyway, I, I, cause I was thinking, you know, maybe I need to show something, and I'm not going to go through anymore, and I certainly need. Okay, so this is, uh, I tell you what, what a, what a huge, huge disappointment. When Georgia Maloney got elected to Italy, I thought that, you know, here's somebody that's going to stand up to the globalist uh, liberal lunatics that are trying to run the world in the west and uh and and then and she sunk right down to become one of them i'm just i'm just i'm upset because when she gave that fiery speech i don't know if you've ever watched it if you watch steve turley or uh you know if you ever watched that speech it was a huge i mean it just seems like every western leader we get they must be financed by just you know george soros or, or globalist and they give these, I mean, she was just a firebrand. And I thought, man, Italy's going to change. No, look at this. Look at this. Is, this is so pathetic. I, I want to I sick up watching this video because I thought, I just thought she was fantastic. And, and now she's just a shrew to the, the globalist elites. staged propaganda video she's a part of it then if, if you're in Italy do you want to do you want to just puke in your shorts right now I know I do I really thought she was going to be a great prime minister for you Italy I'm sorry she pulled the wool over everybody's eyes I have no idea so I guess uh, Italy, uh, you're going to be fighting in Ukraine soon, you know, I mean, uh, I guess that's the story here. If there was one NATO nation that I thought might fight against the machine, I thought it'd be Italy. Nope. Nope, your government's all in on the Ukraine war machine. You know, I hope you guys would maybe stage a protest and say, we're not for the war in Ukraine. I mean, what, is, what does Ukraine have to do with Italy? Why is she even in Ukraine? I mean, this makes no sense. I thought she represented your country. Not NATO, not the West, not the USA. 
She's completely caved at this point. This is disgusting. All right, I'll just shut up. All right, that's it for that video. Um, so, anyway, uh, this was weird. Bunch of small group of people calling for send F-16s to Ukraine. Um, this 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 disturbed me. Uh, I guess Poland is is training. They're saying they're going to. Well, they're training fifty thousand people to be in their national guard, and uh, and, and giving them weapons. Uh, the citizens of, of to, to I guess you know supposedly to defend Poland, but. I mean, I was watching these people as an opera singer, and I mean, and the, the way they were moving, I mean, these are the worst military soldiers I've ever seen in my lifetime. I won't go into the video, and I was just thinking, God, if these went up against Russia, Russian soldiers, they'd just get slaughtered, you know, and they'd be just cannon fodder, and they don't even know it. They think that they're they're doing a good thing. No, the, the little bit of training that they're getting to be Polish soldiers it would it, i guess poland just feels like okay well if, if we got to send uh, fifty thousand of our citizens into combat and let uh basically you know hopefully uh russia will will expend a lot of their munitions mowing them down that's my opinion on that whole thing um this is this is funny because uh the american railway system this is a propaganda video now and <laughs> in russia <laughs> what a joke our railway system is now how do pete Buttigieg is doing a great freaking job oh my god the biden administration what did i mean six what six last month i mean i'm i, I mean i don't know if people are destroying our, our infrastructure or if our infrastructure is really this bad i mean you tell me it just seems to me that i think we've got saboteurs in our midst that's just me this was uh Bill Maher, you know what? Well, I don't know if I can play this because he was talking about natural immunity. I don't, I'm not going to play it. I don't want this video taken down by YouTube because natural immunity does not exist. Um, King Charles, I, who cares? He's beating, visiting this guy. Um, oh, goodness gracious. I, like I said, it's it's like um, bizarre. I, you know, God's hand in making my videos. So this is... I didn't know. I thought I was picturing the old World War II flamethrowers, uh, and I didn't, you know, when I when I heard that you know Russians were employing flamethrowers, I thought, man, you know, they're. But this this is what it is. This is the uh, MD. I can't pronounce that word. I'm not going to try. And heavy flamethrower system. Check this thing out. God, I mean, this is this is this is. It, Cover your eyes if you got kids. Get them away from the TV. I mean, you know, this is, it's, it's, dev I mean, you got to, but you, I want you to see what this thing is. And this is what's being used on Ukraine now. Watch this. Now the V, I, I, I didn't talk about the V. I talked about the Z in a previous video, but I haven't talked about the V and I'll, I'll get the V out in, in a future video. It doesn't just mean uh, Vladimir. But you do see the V painted on a lot of the Russian equipment too. Look at that. It's like a mini nuclear explosion. So this is what the flamethrower is. I, I didn't I'm I'm I apologize. Sometimes I don't understand what they meant by flamethrower. This is this is a weapon system that Russia has. I don't know if it's a new weapon system. I, I it, like I said, I can only research this stuff so fast. I'm learning as you learn. I just know this is some devastating firepower. Look at that, God Almighty. Oh. The 
the V. Look at that. They've got a close up of the V. <laughs> All right, we're getting close to the end of the video here. Um, okay. All right, I, I'll get into it. Let's just watch this. Goodbye, New York City. Can you imagine that hitting a city in the United States? Holy shit. I had to... Uh, oh, yeah. And so this is what I find so damn disgusting. You know, we got all these Western leaders that just run around and stay stupid shit. You just saw what I saw, right? And and listen to the ignorant ignorance that comes out of this woman's mouth, Western leader, and it comes out of all their mouths. It's it's like the, there's nobody that has any authority that will speak the truth, or even or maybe they're just too flipping stupid to even know what's going on. I can't believe this. Listen to this stupid shit. We need to do all we can to make sure Ukraine wins this war as soon as possible. Every Did it look like day, Ukraine was winning the war? Lives lost. Women violated. Towns destroyed. We need to do all we can as fast as we can. My view is that does include fighter jets. And you know, we've had a discussion today about which are the best possible options. You know, having spoken to the Ukrainians about this months and months ago, I know what they want is an option. Mm. They want, so let's work with our allies to get them an option uh, to be able to use because otherwise they won't be able to prevail. I'm sorry, the ignorance is just unfathomable. Yeah, let's send our fighter jets over there to get them destroyed. Um, Russia's Russia's air force is in play now. So, and this this is it's ironic that I got into this video because uh, I wasn't planning on doing it, and I uh, and then I, I I told you it's 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 just like it, every video that I make prophesizes the next video, and I'm like. God dang! I mean, you know, I wish I, I wish I could quit, quit being right because everything I wrote, I, it's it, that's why these are called watching the world burn, watching the world burn. So listen, these are just numbers from today. I told you that as things are mount, coming up, as we're dropping cluster bombs, as you saw the flamethrower, you saw those missile systems, you know, as the the Russians are bringing up their reserves to the front lines. I want you to pay close attention to the numbers, to the numbers of, and if, well, okay, I guess it's Russian propaganda. It's Russian propaganda. Well, I, I'm sorry. I, I tend to believe it. You don't have to. You can watch this and form your own opinion. But if these numbers are true, this is a huge escalation. Listen to the Ukrainian numbers in this video. The armed forces of the Russian Federation continue as a special military operation in the Kupiansk direction. The artillery fire and active actions of the Zapad group of forces have inflicted damage to the main power of the enemy near the settlements of Novosolovsk of Lugansk People's Republic and Mesutovka of Kharkov region. The enemy losses amounted to up to 40 Ukrainian servicemen and two pickups. 
in the Krasny Liman direction. The offensive operations conducted by the Center Group of Forces, as well as the firepower operations of artillery and heavy flamethrower systems, have resulted in the neutralization of the manpower and military equipment of the armed forces of Ukraine, Nes Telmakhovka, Nevskoye, in Lugansk People's Republic, and Yampolovka of Donetsk People's Republic. Over 135 Ukrainian personnel, one infantry fighting vehicle, four armored fighting vehicles, two Bozdika self-propelled howitzers, and one D-20 howitzer have been eliminated. In the Donetsk direction, volunteers from the assault detachments, supported by airborne troops units from Tula region, Aerospace Forces Ground Attack Aviation, as well as the artillery and heavy flamethrower systems from the U group of forces, continue their successful offensive operations. The enemy has lost up to 250 Ukrainian personnel, 5 armored fighting vehicles, 6 motor vehicles, and 1 D-20 howitzer. One Ordnance Depot of the 68th Chaser Infantry Brigade has been destroyed near Katerinovka of Donetsk People's Republic. In the South Donetsk direction, the artillery of the Vostok Group of Forces has launched a complex fire attack against the enemy units near Oblidar and Prochistovka of Donetsk People's Republic. The firepower operation has resulted in the elimination of up to 65 Ukrainian personnel, one infantry fighting vehicle, two armored fighting vehicles, two pickups, one D-20 howitzer and one D-30 howitzer. In the Kherson direction, the counter-battery warfare operations have resulted in the destruction of two D-30 howitzers. The Ordnance Depots of the 123rd and the 126th Territorial Defense Brigades have been neutralized near Antonovka and Chernobyevka in Kherson region. Missile troops and artillery of the armed forces of the Russian Federation have neutralized 84 Ukrainian artillery units at their firing positions, as well as manpower and military equipment in 113 areas. The command post of the 72nd Mechanized Brigade of the armed forces of Ukraine has been neutralized near Dobrovolye of Donetsk People's Republic. The provisional base of foreign mercenaries unit has been neutralized near Memrik of Donetsk People's Republic. The attack launched by Russian aerospace forces has resulted in the neutralization of the workshops for production and reparation of large caliber motors and ordnance for the Ukrainian armed forces near Sumy. Air defense facilities have shut down nine rocket-propelled projectiles launched by HIMARS MLRS as well as ten Ukrainian unmanned aerial vehicles near Antonovka of Kherson region, Krosnarychenskoye, Rubizhnoye, Pshenichnoye, Kremennaye, Chervonopapovka, Zaliman of Lugansk People's Republic, Nikolskoye, Vladimirovka of Donetsk People's Republic, and Tokarivka of Kharkov region. In total, 386 airplanes, 210 helicopters, 3,000 All right, I always report these numbers. So I was crunching the numbers in my head. Now, I, the thing I don't know with these videos is, I, was that today or is that over a period of time? But that's 650 or so dead Ukrainians, according to his report. And uh, But since each report, they do these daily, uh, I guess I could go back through previous reports, but... I don't remember those high numbers uh, in previous videos. I, don't, I mean, I guess I just wasn't paying that much attention. I just, I was horrified just listening to it. But anyway, let's go through the numbers. 386 airplanes. This is up to date, by the way. Th these numbers are not today. These, this is over the course of the war. So, and you wonder why the uh, West is running out of equipment. Because <laughs> Russia's destroyed it all. Oh, my God. I, I, these, uh, all right, so 386 airplanes, 210 helicopters, 3,213 unmanned aerial vehicles, 405. By the way, you heard in that report, two more HIMARS systems went away. Uh, those are expensive equipment uh, that were given to Ukraine uh, for Russia to destroy. They're getting very good at it. Let's just put it that way. So 405 air defense missile systems. Uh, now you know why uh, Russia is flying their planes over top of Ukraine with um, almost uh, impudence, or what's the word, you know, with, uh, with no regard for, for uh, the, the air defense capability of Ukraine anymore. So 7,979 tanks and other armored vehicles. Can you imagine? We've... We've given Ukraine, good God, probably thousands of, of, of armored vehicles, and they're, they're, they're burning chunks of metal at this point. Uh, 1,037 uh, multiple rocket launchers, uh, two more today, obviously, the HIMARS. Uh, 4,179 field artillery cannons. You heard in his report, I mean, they, they, they're, they're, they're tracking the, the cannons now a lot more, a lot better from what I can tell. And uh, so Ukraine's uh, 
artillery, which is their literally their last line of defense, is getting decimated. Now, if you're a mercenary, you want to go and fight in Ukraine, I'm going to tell you what, go go for it, buddy. Go for it. Uh, and Poland, be sure and send all your sol- soldiers to Ukraine, because uh, I don't think their life expectancy is going to be very long. Uh, you expect a lot of body bags coming back to Poland. And then, of course, we got 8,494 uh, special military motor vehicles. Well, that's it for this video. And man, I, I'm I'm going to chill at this point. I am wiped out from a hike, and I just want to watch. A, a, by the way, I I, I don't know. I, I, God dang it, I can't get away from the woke stuff, man. If there's something good on on Netflix or uh, or um, what else? Uh, uh, Par- Paramount. I only did the Paramount because I'm a Star Trek fanatic, and th- th- even that's so woke now. And and then I was watching. Um, well, I think it was on Paramount. What is it called? Wolfpack. God dang, all the gay shit in there, man. I, you know, I mean, guy on guy kissing. I mean, they got to put it in everything. And you can't watch nothing that's, you know, manly anymore. I mean, I, somebody give me a damn good war movie, you know, with, with, you know, men killing men or something, you know, I mean, I don't know, or women beating up on men. I don't care. I just, I can't stand all this, this woke stuff. Uh, I, I, it's, it, give me something to watch. Put a comment below. Peace out. Stay free. And uh, it's good, 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 good to live in the free, 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 free Republican state of Florida under the great leadership of Governor DeSanctimonious.